Republican senators have taken decisive action in protest of the convictions of former President Donald Trump in his Manhattan trial. A growing number have decided to boycott all of the legislative goals of President Joe Biden and the Democrats. Those who turned our judicial system into a political cudgel must be held accountable. We are no longer cooperating with any Democrat legislative priorities or nominations, and we invite all concerned senators to join our stand. Utah Republican Senator Mike Less said on X, formerly Twitter, The White House has made a mockery of the rule of law and fundamentally altered our politics in un-American ways. As a Senate Republican conference, we are unwilling to aid and abet this White House in its project to tear this country apart. To that end, we will not, one, allow any increase to non-security-related funding for this administration or any appropriations bill which funds partisan lawfare. Two, vote to confirm this administration's political and judicial appointees. And three, allow expedited consideration and passage of Democrat legislation or authorities that are not directly relevant to the safety of the American people, the group of senators that includes sense. Marco Rubio, Tommy Tuberville, and Marsha Blackburn said in a letter to the White House. And they were not alone as other Republicans attacked the verdict. Today is a shameful day in American history. Democrats cheered as they convicted the leader of the opposing party on ridiculous charges, predicated on the testimony of a disbarred, convicted felon. This was a purely political exercise, not a legal one, Republican Speaker of the House and Louisiana Report Mike Johnson said. The weaponization of our justice system has been a hallmark of the Biden administration, and the decision today is further evidence that Democrats will stop at nothing to silence dissent and crush their political opponents, the speaker said. The American people rightfully see this as lawfare, and they know it is, and dangerous. President Trump will rightfully appeal this absurd verdict, and he will win, he said. These charges never should have been brought in the first place. I expect the conviction to be overturned on appeal. Republican Senate Minority Leader and Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell said, I won't stand by while the leader of our party is ambushed by our own government. Will you stand with Trump before midnight tonight and condemn this witch hunt once and for all? House Majority Leader and Louisiana Rep. Steve Scalise said, New York Rep. Elise Stefanik, the House GOP conference chair and a potential Trump running mate pick, slammed what she referred to as a sham trial. We must redouble our efforts and work around the clock to ensure President Trump is victorious this November to save America from Biden's failed far-left Democrat agenda, she said in a statement. South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, a potential Trump running mate, claimed on Thursday that the U.S. justice system targets Republicans while favoring Democrats. This was certainly a hoax, a sham. This was devastating for the average American watching, Scott told CNN's Abby Phillip. Even the never-Trumpers are now calling and joining the team. Donors who sat on the sidelines are now joining the team because November 5th is a day of reckoning. Tim Sheehy, who is challenging Democratic Senator John Tester in Montana, issued a statement declaring the verdict rigged and called the case state-sponsored political persecution. Carrie Lake, the Republican poised to face Democratic Rep. Ruben Gallego in Arizona's Senate race, said Americans had just witnessed the most egregious example of election interference and an outright mockery of the rule of law in the 246-year history of our republic. This entire process, right down to the verdict itself, has been nothing but a shameful political stunt. This is a terrible day for America and for trust in our justice system, said Pennsylvania Republican Dave McCormick, who is challenging Democratic Sen. Bob Casey. This case should never have been brought in the first place, and this miscarriage of justice is despicable. But I won't let it define my destiny This trap is a dark place Where hope is hard to find But I'm not giving up Gonna leave it all behind I'm gonna make it out